Welcome to a special edition of Tier 4 Let's Talk for Cloud Foundry Summit. I'm your host, Sopin Bhartia, and my next guest is Patrick Hards, sales engineer at any 9 Patrick, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you. Uh, you will be delivering a talk at the upcoming Cloud Foundry Virtual Summit, which is focused on observability. If you look at observability, it is becoming a critical piece of one's cloud strategy because without knowing what's going on in there, without having that transparency visibility, there are a lot of challenges that companies would come across. Security could be issue, compliance could be issue. Uh, but if I ask you from Cloud Foundry's perspective, how would you define observability? Well, um, the term observability is defined as the value for how well the internal state of a system can be derived from external sources. Um, monitoring can tell you about a failure and observability can help you to find the why. Simply said, with external measurements, you can tell if there's a fault or what is the current state of an uh, internal system. Um, when I started with professional software development more than 20 years ago, application performance monitoring um, short APM was used to watch static monoliths to see how an application behaves. Um, by adapting modern application development practices and splitting legacy applications into microservices, the way we observe the systems has changed. So apps are mostly deployed into a lot of containers. And therefore, you have more complex scenarios which demand specialized knowledge. Um, in my talk, I will explain an approach um, to monitor and observe especially um, system metrics inside garden containers which run inside uh, the Diego cells. But in general, this approach is also adaptable to ecosystems like Kubernetes. Let's talk about a bit about the challenges that you know, users face, and I would try to contain it in the Cloud Foundry's perspective. Uh, when it comes to platform operations or maybe data observability, uh, what are the biggest challenges or difficulties that you see uh, your customer often face? So um, in my daily work with the Anynance platform, I distinguish observability um, in applications and data services. So um, the data service obs observability is given by the default as the any nine data service frameworks provides a lot of mechanisms uh, to get each kind of information. Uh, for example, data service specific metrics um, like, uh, uh, like table logs or also the number of bound connections and system metrics where the data service instance run, runs in, in the virtual machine, for example, um, like uh, CPU memory and also the disk usage. To answer the questions for applications, there are two point of views. So um, one is the um, application developer perspective and the other is the operator perspective. For the operator, it is a solvable challenge as the architecture of Cloud Foundry provides ways to get such metrics. Um, on each Diego cell, there is a metro agent co-located uh, which sends the data uh, to the log locator. So, but here's the problem for the application developer. He doesn't have access to the internals of Cloud Foundry. He only owns his own application container. So Cloud Foundry is designed to let the application developer run his application and also the data service himself. An interaction between the um, application developer and the operator um, should be avoided. So this should not be the goal to ask always the, the operator to get such things. For me, the only place to get um, metrics, system metrics of a container is the application container itself. You mentioned operators and app developers. Uh, does observability mean two different things for these two different people? Though we talk about DevSecOps, we talk about DevOps, we talk about SREs, where site reliability is actually becoming very, when they come to observability, it kind of becomes their responsibility. Roles are changing. So does it mean different thing for different people? Or no, it's the same thing. People just take different set of data. Yes, I think um, different perspectives, different needs for observability. Um, 
out of my out of my daily daily work. Um, if you are a platform operator, if you own such a platform and you provide data services or um, the whole the whole platform as a service to your customers, uh, then you can have different kind of SLAs. Um, it could be, for example, that you say, yeah, you are totally responsible on your own that the platform is running, that the application is running, that the data service behaves somehow. Uh, but you can also define um, better SLAs in the sense that uh, you say, okay, I, as an operator, I will also observe your data service, for example, to, um, to guarantee uh, that that the op that the service always behaves in the in the in the best way. Um, so by answering the question, you can immediately see that the observability comes with the responsibility on how to operate and how to uh, deal with your application and data service. You work closely with uh, users and customers. Uh... Uh, do you think that there's enough awareness among users and customers about observability? Uh, and how important do you think observability should be as part of their cloud native or digital transformation strategy? I had to learn myself that um, observability is important. Um, when I worked as a pure developer, I often hadn't in mind that the system I was building uh, was handling sensitive and important data and that customers relied on my work. So um, since I'm working as a sales engineer here at, Any at Anynines, I'm in close contact with our customers. I'm not only helping them to set up our data service framework, uh, but I'm also involved in questions around the operation of cloud functions. Um, this means I'm in contact with our customers and users. So um, these are the application developers uh, which are using such a Cloud Foundry platform. In, and here in one of the meetings I had with, with the end users, I was asked to get system metrics of an application container. Um, I was a bit surprised that I couldn't find an out-of-the-box solution here. And I got interested in the whole topic, so I started to think about a solution and how the solution could look like. So are you implying that the customers still don't have enough awareness of observability, or you're talking about that customers do know, but the platforms are not ready? Can you explain what aspect are you talking about? Um, with the digital transfer, trans, uh, transition, a lot of companies are doing by... Um, um, by changing or by, by moving to, to platforms like Cloud Foundry, um, they have also to learn that in the DevOps methodology uh, where, they, where they start living right now, um, the observability is, is important. These are things they never had to take care of. So uh, in the past, when, when I was done with my work, I gave, the, um, I gave my, my piece of code to... Um, uh, to, the, to, the, to the operators, and they had to run and monitor the application. But like I said, in the in the DevOps um, in the DevOps world, it is in your responsibility now. So and when the needs there are changing, this means also for the platform operator that they have to provide um, systems, me mechanisms, and toolings that you can achieve your goal. So I, I, you hit a, a very critical point there, which is uh, actually last year because of the pandemic, we saw a lot of companies, they rushed to digital transformation, they rushed to cloud native, and yes, they were not aware of that. And also cloud native, I mean, if you just look at, look at either Kubernetes or Cloud Foundry, if you put all those pieces together, it becomes very complicated. So for a customer, it's very, very overwhelming to deal with that. So platforms, and that's going to be my next point, that was that either you look at it as a managed service or look at a platform or a cloud, that plays a very critical role because there's so much moving pieces that customers cannot keep up and they should focus on building their application, their service, not on plumbing these things. So can you also talk about the importance of platforms or, or you know services so that customers can continue to focus on uh, doing what add business value and you folks because you 
know what is going on in the industry, you keep eye on trends so that you continue to offer new features, new capabilities, new functionalities that they need, but they don't know they need it. In my, in my talk, I present a way how you can achieve this goal also to get a better observability of your application quite easily. Um, so there is no application developers should not have fear to do that. And um, with the mechanisms provided by Cloud Foundry, for example, the sidecars and also the, um, the, the, the build pack, the power of build packs, um, you can add such things quite easy by just adding a piece of configuration there. Um, like I described before, you can also uh, define SLAs here so that um, an operator can do it for you. But imagine you have an, a platform which, uh, imagine you have a platform where thousands of applications are running and hundreds of data services. How would you do that? So I think the responsibility has to go to the application developer, but companies can help them, teams can help to do that. Since you start talking about your talk, so I would also like to quickly talk a bit about um, uh, what are you trying to achieve with the talk there? What are the areas that you will be focusing on? The first thought I had to, um, um, to answer the question on how to collect system metrics in an application container with side couple packs was to create a solution myself. Um, I digged into this topic and um, I did some investigations. I found uh, here a possible solution, there a possible solution. Um, I used also things I note from my experience from the past, for example, uh, how C groups are working um, inside containers. And yeah, it, I thought it is a challenge to develop a solution here myself. Um, but then in a, in a call with, with some with some other people, um, they gave me the hint on an interesting project um, others are working on. So I switched a bit the way how, how I planned, or better, I changed the way how I would do the, do the talk. So I, I'm talking about my experience, how I came to the conclusion at the end, what, what is important, what is not important, uh, what can you do? I, I showed a bit the perspectives around the pure solution here. The solution is there. It's a really interesting project, but there I would recommend to watch my talk. No, and that's, I think that's the best uh, thing, you know, if it is something is based on your own experience, then you do not take and thin out stuff versus just observing, no pun intended, from outside. Uh, uh, as you're earlier alluding to the fact that a lot of customers are still learning uh, about observability, can you kind of share with us what kind of trends do you see will be happening in context of observability, how it will become either become part of a strategy within companies or in general, what kind of trends you see in the observability space uh, when we talk about customers' perspective? Um, this is a topic in expansion from small websites to complex systems. Observability is always important and it works hand in hand with high availability. You need to be alerted that things are not healthy before it hits the customer. And you need the proper information and tool to investigate and react based on information, not feelings or guesses. So this level of proactivity is only possible um, with active observability. When it comes to the how-to, I think one solution for each application is not an achievable goal, as you have to multiply everything. Um, companies are start sharing tools within its organization. Um, having an easy, trusted solution can bring a lot of benefits. And um, having an easy, trusted solution can bring all kinds of benefits. Uh, to reaction on outage and it is a must-have 
for root cause analysis. Patrick, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about your talk and also uh, sharing share your own, uh, not only experience, but your own observation of uh, around observability. I wish we could have done this in person at the Cloud Foundry Summit, but I hope that the next summit will be in person and we can meet and see each other again. So thanks for your time today. You're welcome. And thanks for the possibility to, uh, to talk with you.